Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Empowering DIY. I'm Mitch, and this is Clayton. Uh, today, I wanted to show you about a UV light and the benefits of having a UV light in your HVAC system. Um, I know this is a DIY channel, but this is one of those jobs where I highly recommend having an HVAC technician help you with this. Um, you can get um, shocked if you do not careful. Uh, Due to the capacitors or not disconnecting the power properly but because this is a DIY channel um, I want to teach you as well as teach my son uh, some of the components of an air conditioner so I wanted to uh, put this on video today just to uh, let you be aware of it so if you do decide to have a HVAC technician come out you have an idea already what to expect and uh, so we'll go through all of it and uh, we'll get it done quickly so it doesn't get too hot up here Luckily, it's early spring, so it's not hot yet. Um, but come along, and uh, we'll get this done quickly. What's the first thing you do whenever you work on an electrical system? Turn off the power. Good job. Um, where where would we look for the power on this air conditioner? Mm. If you don't power know. Power box? Yeah, good job, bud. If you don't know, um, a lot of times HVAC systems have breakers right here but never ever trust this completely unless you verify it with a meter and then you also have if you want to turn your camera on Clayton see the gray box right there go to your left a little bit more to your left you see that gray box right here mm -hmm. this is a disconnect and what it is inside there you have a uh, disconnect you actually pull that out and it eliminates the electricity coming from your breaker box to the HVAC system so what we'll do is we'll pull this out and throw it across the attic apparently <laughs> you need to get it. no it's fine I'll get it in a minute and again and then what we'll do is we'll come around here and we'll take go ahead and take the panel off what we got to do is take both sides off and I'll show you why in a minute. Stand up. All right. So, um, here's a here's the HVAC system. Um, this is a blower motor. Um, and then we have the heat strip and electrical section and inside here is the evaporator coil But before we do anything We want to verify power Now you remember you remember the other day when I showed you your meter um, What it would look like right? Okay, that was That was 12 volts DC This is actually alternating current AC this whole system is so we want to verify here's your wire coming from the box right we're going to verify it we're going to verify it coming inside here's our main power I'm going to take my meter and make sure my leads are all the way in check your power it's zero zero okay so now I know it's safe to touch any electrical work okay so uh, we're going to go through this real quick again. I'm going to show you. We're going to verify that the power is off. Uh, we pulled the disconnect out right here. We pulled uh, the plug out of it. And um, that power feed comes in, goes into this breaker. Um, it's still on right now. You can flip it off. It doesn't matter because we disconnected the, the disconnect before it. So we don't have to worry about it. But then we take our meter. And one on each side one on each side make sure we're touching the contacts of the wires and we have zero energy zero and then we can also check the top side of the breaker and it's also zero so we know for a fact we don't have any energy going into this unit so um, this is our blower motor. A lot of people call it a squirrel cage. Um, uh, this is a direct drive unit. This is your evaporator coil. A lot of people call it an A coil, um, but it's the coil that actually removes the heat out of your house. 
Um, let me get this panel off and I will show you some more of the that coal. Alright, um, I decided I'm not going to take the whole panel off just to install this light. Um, but I just kind of wanted to get a better view of what the A coal would look like. Or uh, like I said, it's like going to go the evaporator coal. Um, so... The main purpose of this UV light is when the air travels through the system, it collects a lot of the dust. The UV light is um, when you put it inside here, I like to put it in between the A-coal up top and the, um, the squirrel cage. And the reason being is if it's mounted up here, you're getting, you're getting coverage. If it's mounted right here and the bulb will come across, you're getting coverage between the evaporator coal and the squirrel cage so anything that attaches itself to the squirrel cage will get killed by the uv light but the uv light kills mold bacteria uh small other particles and stuff so it'll help with uh, anybody that's got sensitive allergies and stuff it really does help get um your uh, uh hvac system a lot cleaner so even though you use you know even uh you know a little bit better air filter a pleated air filter or something like that um, it doesn't kill everything and it doesn't stop everything so the uv light will definitely help um, so i'm gonna give the camera the clip and hold it and i'm gonna install the the mount Alright, so uh, you got the camera? Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, here's the mount. This is a used uh, light um, that I had kept for a while and we're new in this house so it's time to get it installed. Um, so um, it doesn't have any paperwork or instructions that I can show you but uh, I'm going to try to detail as much as I can. Um, I did order a new light because these lights only last a year or two depending on what light you order. So. Be prepared if you do decide to put one of these lights in to know that you're going to have to replace this bulb um, at least every year, uh, depending on what system you get. And then um, I know it's just glass, but I try not to touch the bulb with my fingers. It's not, it shouldn't hurt it, but I, I try not to anyways. Um, it's already dirty a little bit. Oh, it's fine. It's just got a little dust on there. It, it doesn't even get hot. It's a little past wire through and out. And the cool thing about these lights is most of them come with a magnet on it. Can you see that? Can you see it? Okay. Most of these come with a magnet, so uh, they're really easy to install. Um, you want it about midways down because you want to get coverage to both um, the top and the bottom. You want to get coverage to both the top and the bottom of the coal. Um, as long as we can get somewhere a good solid mount. Doesn't look like it wants to mount that way, so. You mount it. Did you mount it by the top? No, what we'll do is I'll cut a small hole in the insulation, slide the magnet in the back. Um, and okay. Alright, so another thing I wanted to point out if you happen to do this uh, job yourself, um, this ballast, one of my pet peeves is. Uh, I don't like stuff just hanging here. Um, I know you can just zip tie it here or whatever, but um, it's pretty simple to just get a self tapper screw or just a regular um, 5 16 screw or something. It takes an extra five minutes to mount this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try to find somewhere I can get my drill in here and mount it. Um, or even if you can't get a drill in there or something, double stick tape it. There's somewhere you can mount it. I might can even put it um, right here and just make it look really neat and clean. So um, do yourself a favor or if you have anybody else do it, 
uh, try to make sure they do a, a good job because I feel like a, a good neat job is a professional job so um, uh, let me go ahead and get this mounted and we'll be right back all right so a uh, little change of plans I wanted it back there but uh, I just no matter what I did I couldn't get a good mount now here's a really sturdy mount well, kind of doesn't look like it but I promise it is it's in there it's not going anywhere so I ran the wire through ran it up um, through a little grommet hole got it down and try to run it neatly down through here and I mounted the ballast uh, right here um, next to the contact uh, the breaker in here and uh, now we're gonna wire it up so um, the wiring is really simple it's a 24 volt AC wiring so that means it's the low voltage the same wiring that runs your thermostat down in, inside your house so um, what we're gonna do the UV light does not shut off you do not want it on your fan um, or on the cooling cycle or anything like that you want it on the red wire all the time you want the light on because what's gonna happen is even if your AC is off you want that UV light in here making sure that no mold grows because what happens if your unit's off for, you know, four or five hours, um, you know, during the night when it's cool or something like that. Um, you give the mold or the bacteria a chance to grow inside that coal. Um, so, and then it, it, if it only cycles for like an hour at a time, you're not getting enough UV light in there. So, you want it onto the red. Um, I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm probably going to have to put the camera down. Um, I'll wire it up, and I'll be right back and show you what I did. All right, so uh, I got the panel back on, and uh, what I want to show you is I uh, didn't put the last screw in right here, and you can see the little glue, the glow, excuse me, right here. Um, that's the UV light. Um, again, you do not want to go in there and look at that light. Uh, that little glow right there is not going to hurt you, but that's that's my indicator that the light's working. So... Uh, I can go ahead and as you can see I'm, I'm taking it seriously I'm holding this panel closed because again uh, I'm not trying to beat a dead horse but um, that light will hurt your eyes so uh, please pay attention to that and make sure you take all the safety precautions so as a matter of fact I'm gonna go ahead and turn the breaker off the lights off now I can go ahead and put all my screws back in all right um, I hope I didn't bore you with too much of the details um, trying to teach you and inform you as much as I can about um, this stuff the UV light is really gonna make a big difference in your house I would highly look into it um, I know we got a mess with this COVID-19 and I can't say that it's gonna kill the coronavirus going through your air conditioner or anything I'm not saying that but any little thing will help I believe if you uh, if you take and uh, look at the data yourself do your own research um, it's a proven fact that these UV lights kill mold bacteria um, and other particles that fly through your air conditioner all the time so um, why not during this time to take any extra precaution you can and um, uh, do what you can to take care of your family so again look for a technician um, I know the going rate around here um, in South Carolina was four or five hundred dollars to install one it might be different in your area but um, just look it up and do some research and if you feel like you're confident enough to install it go for it if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to comment below um, and I'll be glad to help you the best I can and again this was an informative video so uh, you know everything I say isn't you know gold or set in stone so again do your own research look up uh, what you think is best and um, Again, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to help. But uh, ask ask anybody. Ask Call a HVAC technician. Call someone else that you know and uh, get as much information as you can. But this is something that I feel like will help you a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and close this video out and clean up my mess and uh, get out of this hot attic. Have a good day, guys.